comedian opens the door funnily but a comic actor opens funny doors so uh thank you so much first of all for agreeing to talk to us um thank you rashmi so the last time i saw you was uh, in movies playing all these villain roles and intense roles when did mm-hmm. comedy happen you know what uh, i think i always had the funny bone and then i uh and i said why not explore it uh, otherwise i'm um all my life i've been killing and getting killed yeah so i said let's let's uh, i i've been a jocular person and i have quite a few tales to tell uh which are funny and uh, so um it, i i chanced upon uh, stand up comedy and uh, i said why not and i i must admit um it it was you know it takes a it takes a friend of yours to kind of push you and my dear friend raman quatra i have to credit him for that even though uh, during this series called sunflower the idea of uh, why don't i yeah. do more comedy was there and then raman one day in delhi i was at his place and he said oi do you need to go stand up comedy so you know how friends are they are persuasive to the extent that they're not willing to listen to anything so he had no idea about what was uh, you know stand up comedy as a as a form and i discovered later on i had no idea i just thought i said karta hu chalo let's do it so i i wrote the material and uh, even booked a hall and then i found out that stand up but stand up comedy is not theater it is stand up comedy and yeah. um, i i must credit my uh, the uh, mobin tesekar from entertainment factory he kind of suddenly landed up in my life and he said that uh, so we don't do stand up comedy in theater halls there are stand up comedy spaces and that is how i started and Here I am. I think uh, I'm the youngest 59 year old stand up comic. I was born on 31st of <laughs> March, 2024. So I'm, I'm a late delivery. <laughs> That's lovely. I mean, I at this age, I, I mean, everybody today wants to retire early, and you're like you've been doing so many things. Thank you, Rashmi, for bringing in the age factor once again in the conversation. Appreciate it. <laughs> No, I mean you have so much energy. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Oh, yeah. The jokes yeah. on me. Uh, the the point is that the jokes on me and people are having a laugh at that, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah, and how do you craft your comedy material? Like, uh, what themes do you usually explore? Oh, my life is my life is filled with so many things. I've had so many amazing things happening in my life, and uh, you 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 know tragedies and and mishaps are huge. huge material and quite a few of them yeah. in my life so so the material i'm i'm sourcing the material right where i am from my child childhood till now and uh, i've got quite a bit of material in fact one of the things about stand up comedy is that you, we must be really careful because people nowadays are touchy you know they kind of get upset if you joke yeah. about them so i right. found some person i found one person who is okay with me joking about him and that's me so I'm having a laugh at myself. And uh, do you tweak uh, material according to uh, you know uh, the place where you perform? Not just that. I, I tweak material even as I go on because you see, I'm I'm a I'm a uh, like a creative person, and yes, there is a script, and then there is it gets tweaked on a daily basis, and then of course when you are in a particular place, I kind of uh, do that, but. Um, Yes, it's 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 a growing script and the material, and I I also came to know that it's not called a script; it's called a material. So the material is growing, and uh, um, a very different kind of rooms here. Last yesterday, I was playing at a room in Habitat in in um, in Mumbai, which is so different from the from the Kumbali uh, crowd that I played for in in Hyderabad. which was very different from the yeah. uh, audience that i played for in nagpur okay a different kind of audience so it, it the, there are clubs and then there are um uh, you know uh, lounge bars and then there are uh, just rooms where there are just people sitting and there's a microphone there and you're performing and then um, so it's it's very very different and i'm just enjoying it you know for an actor rashmi it's it's um, somebody who's been doing theater it's something it's like returning to theater with less yeah. or no props 
no props just that microphone the actor and the audience and the audience you know unlike unlike in theater they say please quieten down please please don't do please don't hear yeah, no people are having a good time they are chatting with you they are laughing they are saying something what they want and yeah. in between that you are doing your piece so really enjoying it so between playing uh, you know i mean uh, acting for the big screen and doing comic uh, acts which one do you enjoy the most so i am uh, to be honest i am um, i'm a very uh, i'm very particular that whatever that i'm doing i i really love doing that well i really enjoy that for example right now i'm even speaking with you and this interview is happening and uh, i would love to enjoy this moment you know so when i'm acting uh, in a in a film i really enjoy that when i'm doing my motivational talk as i was doing the night before in surat i really enjoy that as i do a stand up comedy so it's it's that moment and for me uh, rashmi i i realize that i am uh, i'm a one, i'm one life i have one life and i'm living many lives in that i tend to yeah somehow try and understand myself as one person with many personas and i really find uh, stand up comedy as <clears throat> um in a way in a way you know i'm bringing forth all my personas and having a conversation with people on everything and to do it in a lighter way where people are having a laugh and guess what they're also saying that ah you're saying something and a whole lot of people uh, you know i i got a beautiful uh, somebody just sent me a message today which i thought was lovely it was too beautifully um worded it was, it's in hindi but i'll read that out to you and that one particular yeah. part of it was very very sweet yeah you know um um uh, so this line was i felt was very good he said that um he says that i remember that line when they say that a comedian opens the door funnily but a comic actor opens funny doors and uh, i thought that was very very sweet of this person to say dear friend yeah. of mine Yeah. And then there was uh, a dear friend, um, I, you know, who was watched in in Kolkata, and he wrote that I came up, came on to the show, thinking of a lot of things, but you opened up so many things for me. So uh, let's be very, very clear that um, comedy has this thing, you know, it makes people think, and it also makes them remember that just like the comic is laughing at himself, even I can laugh. Yeah. At my- and make light of what i'm going through yeah. yeah right so you you've consumed comedy earlier i mean you watched you've been on the other side and when you're performing what has changed well um so me a kalpa on this i you know for years i whenever i used to go down to uh, london or to new york i would go to the broadway or the west end and just close to that are these stand up comedy uh, theaters small places and i used to really just you know walk down one, once in a while walk in and and you know, have a you know, enjoy that and after that i've never seen a live stand up comedy so i used to just watch it on youtube uh, you know in this period but then yeah um and 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 so therefore you know i believe you know, people take years to kind of create the material So my first opening show, you know, I I opened with a one and a half hour of material. So, and later on, I started going and watching other stand-up comics. And I promise you, had I had I actually been watching the material live for other from others, I wouldn't have dared to open because I would have been too um, uh, overwhelmed by how many different ways people do it. Can I do it? So my style of stand-up comic. Uh, comedies is very different it's so mine and uh, i also had the privilege of talking to a few comics and they they shared quite a few things and one thing which which stood out for me and that really really helped me um in uh, you know kind of having the confidence before my first show uh, in fact after the first few shows um you know i had this conversation with one a wonderful stand up his name is rehman khan 
and he's a poet and a stand up comedian and he shared something he said that you know ashish bhai uh people after 8 to 9 years they discover their own voice and that struck me till then i was still wanting to be like someone or perform stand up comedy as stand up comedy is performed and i got that you know what uh let me let me speak in my voice let me go and entertain the audience the way i wish to entertain the audience so i am now really um uh, not straddling any one person's method or genre i am telling i am regaling people with anecdotes and i am i am letting them enjoy being with me for the hour hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes whatever that show is for and allowing them to listen to me my thoughts allowing them to listen to how i am dealing with my demons how i deal with them how i am dealing with the mishaps in my life and my victories and my observation mm. of life in that journey and i think that has really freed me and i'm really enjoying that yeah and uh, one last question uh you as much as you enjoy this uh yeah. what's the most challenging part about uh, you know stand up comedy well i i love this kind of challenge but it's amazing to be in front of a live audience once again so for years mm-hmm. i have been doing theater so there's that live audience and yeah. then when you start doing cinema then you meet the audience only in uh, on occasions in which uh, they are there with you they take a selfie with you and that's it then they mention that they they've seen you in that film or that film uh whereas in stand up comedy you're right amidst them right in front of them in flesh and blood and you're performing and they're yeah. laughing or not laughing you know they they you're getting their attention or not you know it's that the live thing that's happening it's like a and and you know i i promise you one thing a live show is a live show and um yeah. so theater theater has its thing and i've done theater over the years but stand up comedy is a whole new beast and i'm so enjoying this challenging thing of just with the microphone nothing else around you and you and the audience and you're having a conversation with them Okay. Uh any favorite comedy influences or inspiration? Oh, so many. But uh, um yes, so um mm, uh, Chappelle, Dave Chappelle um uh, is 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 somebody whom I just love the way he tells stories in India. Uh there is uh Thakur and then there is uh, um, abhishek upmanyu then there is uh, uh beer das i think are wonderful wonderful things but dave chapel and russell peters and this uh, one person my, my style is not at all like him but i just uh, is don rickles is a person who uh, who's an exponent he's <laughs> of insult comedy but i really have enjoyed i've consumed a lot of don rickles but just the ability for him yeah. to you know have that so um, each of these people that i'm i just mentioned their styles are very different but what i'm taking from each one of them they all are my mentors unknown to them um what i've taken from them is that each is unique and celebrates their own voice and i hope i'm doing so and happy that um i'm getting to express my voice my material so as an actor that is the freeing part reshmi um after years yeah. of speaking lines written by others in stand up comedy yeah, i'm actually speaking, speaking, speaking my them. lines and i'm getting yeah, to speak yeah. my voice wonderful thank you thank you so much so thank you for talking